Hey guys, it's Roz. I'm back at you one more again. If this is your first time coming to my channel, welcome, namaste, and love and light to you and many blessings. And if you can feel free, please like and subscribe, even hit the notification button. And if you feel free at the end of the video, please give me a thumbs up and even drop a comment at the bottom and even hit that bell so you know when I'm about to upload my next video. And if you are returning sub, thank you so much. Namaste and love and blessings to you and light. And namaste. And thank you for the support. Today, I'm doing good on this manic Monday. And I hope you guys are doing blessed and highly favored like I am. Today, my video is about Twin Flame 101, Release Past Hurt and Trauma. Guys, I've been on Facebook for the last couple of days. I've just been working between shooting my videos out, meditating, you know, nature walks, and uh, doing all these things with my dad's uh, fan pages with different people and, you know, extended family. I've been really busy. So, it's just like, I noticed a lot lately people are just talking, I don't know if it's just the winter months where people just get really depressed. I don't know what it is. Or it could be during the holidays. We have hindered or harbingered, whatever you want to call it, suppressed a lot of hurt. We suppressed a lot of hurt, a lot of pain. And it's just sometimes it's so hard to release. It's so hard to release. Like, you know, I, I was feeling down in dumps yesterday because I guess it's just like, even though I have let go of a lot of things, it's just that still that that ego is lingering with, with the stuff that I've went through because I just feel like, okay, you know, you've done the work, you meditate, you pray, you know, you try to, you have let go of a lot of things. And I'm proud of myself because I haven't smoked uh, weed or cigarettes in I don't know how long. And it feels good. Even though I might think about it every once in a while, I'm just like, you know what? You can't go backwards like that. You've got to be like a clock. You can't go back because... Unless, you know, unless it's the, you know, the time zone has changed over or whatever. That's the only time time goes back. And that's a lot of things that we do. And a lot of people, like I was on the anxiety uh, fan page on Facebook. And a lot of people are just like, is true love out there? You know, can, I, I can't, I'm not having good luck with relationships or trying to find the love of my life and it's just like so many of us is always out there searching for love and what you are looking for is looking for you too but there are so many things that's going around us that is negative we don't pay attention to the blessings that we have in front of us because we're worrying about things that happened in our past that we couldn't let go or you know people that you know you could have been through abuse it, no telling what you've been through I don't know but a lot of people are just like, uh, I know this one girl got mad because, I mean, it's just the fact is if you want to get sensitive about things you put out and you tell somebody your opinion about a question they're asking about finding love, and I always tell people, you have to learn how to love yourself. And I had to learn that for myself. And it's just a lot of times, a lot of people, some, some people will try to say, you know, how do you know? You don't know me. You don't. I'm not saying I know you, but it's just from where you're telling me how things are happening into your life. When we go through things and you're you keep going through limbo and cycles of the same thing over and over again, that's just your universe trying to tell you there's something that you need to let go. There's something that you need to let go. And it's just like if you have that doubt in your head that, oh, you know, I can't find love or, you know, nobody's going to love me. You're pushing that out to the universe and that's like you're speaking that into your existence. So you don't want to do that. You have to be mindful of the things that you think about. Even though you don't, you might say it to yourself, you, you're still hurting yourself. And it's just like, okay, what you put out is what you're going to get back. So a lot of people are just like, well, you know, why am I not falling in love and stuff like that? You have to fall in love with yourself first. And it's just a lot of, um, I forgot to tell you guys, the, the music I'm listening to is the best Neo Soul of 2017. Um, it's like for two, two hours. And I love this because I don't got to keep you know, rewinding it back. So I said, I'm going to go ahead and put this on because it has a variety of different songs. And it, you know, it has a good vibe to it. So, um, back to what I was saying, um, when you're trying to find love and stuff like that, you never know. Your, your, your soulmate is, could be searching for you too. But we will never know until we let go of things. When you let go of things like that, when you let go, and you might feel empty inside, like, oh my gosh, and it's just like, you know, the devil, 
idle hands is the devil's playground. So it's just like today I went in nature and, you know, cleared my mind. And I did so many um, meditations today. And I noticed that a lot of times I'm uh, connecting with a lot of different twin flames. And it's just like some of us being a twin flame, we're thinking that our our, our other half is going to come and save us. They're not going to come save you. <laughs> they are not going to come save you. You have to save yourself first. And if you're doing anything, you need to do it for yourself. So it, it's just like when I was going through stuff, I was just like, why hasn't things happened for me? But I did not notice all the joy and the love that I'm getting around me that I'm just focusing on not being able to connect back home. So I know that I had to release the rest of my stuff. Things that I thought I was over, I really wasn't. And I say that a lot of times in my videos because it's true. You know, even though you can preach this stuff, it, you know, even though it's not on the surface of your mind, trust me, it's in your inner psyche. So you have to be able to release that. And I, when I get finished with this video, I'm going to go ahead and put a couple of uh, descriptions down below on different meditations that I've used today that really worked. And it was really good. And it's from uh, the 10, 10 Cups uh ministries the number 10 not the word 10 but uh but the number 10 so uh you need to go by there and they have a lot of interesting meditations and a lot of things that you know if you're a twin flame or even if you're trying to look for a soulmate because with twin flames even when you don't know your twin flame if you ever known there was a piece of you that's missing or you know you're searching for something and don't know what you're searching for it's just a little indication you might be a twin flame and don't even realize it because I, I used to always wonder why I felt so empty. There was somebody I was searching for but did not know who I was searching for. And come to find out, it was my father. So, and I notice a lot of twin flames when I'm seeing them, they really look alike. And I'm just like, that is so creepy. But then I look at my dad and I think the same thing because when I see him, I see him always touching my face. I said, you know what? You are so vain. <laughs> you are so vain because I look just like you. And he's just like, oh, my gosh, your face, your face. And I'm like, yeah, I look like you. But it, it's just, it's very comical with us, with us, right? You know, so it's, you know, we're having interesting conversations and stuff like that. But it, it's just like, I know when I was going through my things, I'm still going through. But it feels good when you're actually paying attention to you know, you're bringing people towards you, you know, I opened my, you know, I got, you know, I came out my comfort zone and I actually put some of my videos out on Facebook and stuff like that because I really didn't want to do that. And because I was worried about what people used to think about me all the time. And it's just like, you know what? I hear the universe tell me it's time for you to shine. It's time for you to come out the darkness into the light. So it's just like, I'm trying to help other people get there. You know, you have to go through things and we're going to go to things. You're going to have to go through things to get to things. And what you want, like I say in a lot of my videos, if you want it that bad, it's not going to be easy. Because if you knew the magnitude of the blessings that you're going to get, you're going to have to go through hell to get to it. But, you know, I used to get mad like, oh, you know, I wish my family would just give up the stuff that you have to the people to go ahead and get me home. But they don't want to do that. But I had to let go of that because if I if I went back before then I probably would have messed something up so I'm glad I went through this process of learning how to heal let go of the things that I've let go of because it's just like you know I was telling Anthony the other day that you know the fan page that I'm with with love one another uh love for one another um really showed me what family was about than the people that I have in my life. And he was just like, don't worry about that. You concentrate on the people that love you and support you. Don't worry about the negative. And that's true. You shouldn't have to worry about what people weren't there for you, what people didn't have your back and stuff like that. Because that whatever you put out to people and people fail to realize that you have that comeback. It's just that karma. And it's just like when you're going through things, it could be things from your past life that you've done. And you have to clear all that. You have to clear it. And it could be things you're going through now, but it could be things that you did when you were here before. Because we're all recycled souls. We're all recycled souls. And you have to let go of those things. So it's just like, like I said, at the end of the, my video, I will be going ahead and putting a couple of um, 
meditation techniques down that hopefully you know you guys will be able to deal with and stuff like that because it's just like I see so many people out here that have the most beautiful souls and they're going through so many things and just like you know I'm so unhappy and I understand what that feels like because when you have released I've released a lot of stuff so I feel empty inside and there's sometimes my emotions you know like this morning I released like the last little bit of, over that I thought I was you know over and done with but it felt so good to release that because it's just like you know the things that you're going through it's over but if it's just like you're holding on to it because that's what was comfortable for you at the time because you've been through it so long you have dealt with that so long but when the universe is trying to snatch that away you get uncomfortable you get mad you get frustrated and that happens because we're so used to dealing with it when it's time to let it go you don't but I'm not trying to keep you guys today, and I hope you are able to resonate with my video. And hopefully, you guys, uh, I was able to help you understand some of the things you're going through. Because I know it helped me a lot. So it just brought me closer. You know, if you're a twin flame and you're releasing everything, it brings you closer to your, your other half, your better half. I always call my dad my better half because he's like a yin to my yang and vice versa. So, um... Guys, I'm not going to try to hold you up, and uh, I had a, I had an incident that happened the other day, again. Um, if you guys leave any negative comments, you will be blocked, and that's all I'm going to say about that, because I've been in a good mood, and I'm not going to say anything, but I had to put that out on front street. It, it's just, when you're putting things out that's positive, you're going to get, like I said, everything has a balance to it, so you're going to have, I deal with crazies out there. So I had to block a couple of people off my page because they were bringing negative issues to me and I can't do that. So if you if you feel kind, go ahead and drop a comment, but just be mindful of the things that you put out there. So I will talk to you guys later. Love and light and namaste to you and many blessings are yet to come. I pray for everybody that is viewing my videos and uh, the whole world anyway. So if you like and please subscribe and even drop a comment. Or even hit the bell so you can get ready to know what video I'm about to uh, upload. That will greatly be appreciated. And I will talk to you guys later. Peace. And be wild.